I, I, I need to respond to your thing that, you know, that, that I create uh, my, my own racial predicament by my thinking and my attitudes. You, you block your progress. I block my own progress. By allowing your attitude toward a white man to limit you. But I, think the, I think the police limit, limit me. <laughs> I think that uh, white supremacy has placed limitations uh, on where I can go and what I can do. And, but I don't think that, that, that I cause my own predicament under, uh, uh, under white supremacy. And by white supremacy, I don't mean uh, neo-Nazis, and I don't mean Klan, because I'm, not, I, I'm terrified of, the, of those people on an inter, in a personal basis. Institutionally, not terribly much, because most of the lethal, uh, uh, toxic, deadly racism that African-American people uh, experience and that other people of color experience in this country does not come from them. It comes from moral fair-minded, people who believe that they are lovers of uh, justice, uh, churchgoers, people who experience themselves as uh, decent and actually very nice folk. And it is there that I, I, I find uh, my fear. Back to the question of what it means to be white. I think what it means to be white, in part, is that uh, you have the privilege of blaming people of color for their own victimization under white supremacy. I've heard you say that to me. I've heard you say that to him. I've heard you say that to him. I've heard you say it to him. I've heard you say it to uh, every person of color in the room who challenged your perception of yourself in the world. That is part of what it means to be white. Maybe that's part of the answer, that we feel that the field is wide open and each man can stand on his own. No, no. We, each man does not stand on his own. Some men stand on other men and other women. Light skinned men, men from Europe stand on the heads and the parts of men and women and children of color. That is, and of course, you, uh, you also stand on the, uh, the, the heads of white women. But no, it's not a question of every man standing on his own ground. All of the ground damn near of this planet has been taken from almost all of the people of color on this planet. You know, Australia was a black continent. Africa was a black continent. And if the people themselves were not taken from Africa, then everything of value was taken from Africa to the extent that that was possible. North America was a red continent. South America was a red continent. You are not standing on your own ground. You are standing on red ground. And that's what it means to be white. To say that you're standing on your own ground and standing on somebody else's. And then mystify the whole process so it seems like you're not...